Anyway, um, Wade Jones lives in Mount Holly. He is a fan. He doesn't dress up like him and impersonate him or stuff like that. But he's a fan. He's got a lot of uh, collectible items of Elvis's. Oh. And uh, I don't know if you remember back in 2004, way back in 2004, he sold three tablespoons of water that Elvis drank from back in 1977 when he was in Charlotte. It didn't evaporate? No, I guess he kept it in a little case. It was huh. still in the cup, of course. Oh, How did he prove that? Somebody bought it for 400 bucks. No way! Three tables of water uh, that touched the lips of I Elvis. wish I had some of that foam from the seat. Yeah, oh. I could have jerked it out of there. I could have. I could have pocketed that and sold it. That's why there's security now, because of you. I know. But recently, he sold a uh, a Dixie cup that he drank from in Tulsa, Oklahoma, April 1956. I wasn't even born yet. Mm. But it's a Dixie cup. Remember those little paper Dixie cups? Yeah, all still covered have with those wax. Things. Not quite like this, okay? All right. Anyway, uh, it's smashed. It's kind of flat, like it's been stepped on. It's in a it's in a box, and uh, someone bought it. <laughs> For three thousand or thirty-three hundred dollars. Get out! Mm -mm. He didn't even autograph it, right? It's just he drank out of it. Yeah. His DNA that's, that's might all be on it. it. Takes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's now at the Icon Hotel in the UK. So it's on display there, I imagine. So, so if you want to see it, go there. All the way from North Carolina mm -hmm. to the UK. The UK. Oh. A Dixie paper cup that's flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I, I never got into stuff like that, but hey, if you still got a piece of that foam, I'll well, buy that. I still have the hands that touched no it. No way. <laughs>